Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to spill all the tea about postgraduate life. Yes, post nursing school grad life. Stay tuned. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you are a returner, if you're part of the fam bam, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Chi, giving you all the realness that has to do with nursing, life, etc. Okay? First of all, I want to just be one of the first, or probably not even the first person to tell you congratulations. If you just graduated in nursing school, whoop -de -whoop, let's celebrate because you did that thing. Nursing school is challenging, it's one of the toughest thing I have personally experienced and one of my greatest accomplishments so I can only imagine for you how much you had to sacrifice and give up congratulations now that we got all the pleasantries out the way <laughs> you're gonna have to focus it's all good I'm happy that you graduated but you're not done yet till you get that RM behind your name you get that license complete and done the work is not done and unfortunately there are people who sit for the NCLEX and it takes them multiple multiple times to get it done um, and that's just the way it goes but hopefully I can help you feel better prepared go in and crush the NCLEX your first time and get those two letters behind your name so post-grad life of course you've celebrated you've gotten lit you've leveled up got the degree fine boy fine girl no pimple okay now it comes time to sit for the NCLEX which I would say 50% of the NCLEX has to do with your anxiety, your stress level. If you're someone like me who suffers with test taking, who I already know, like I'm not a good test taker. Clinicals, I got you, there. Learning, absorbing, yes. But when it comes to tests, I have found it to be challenging and I did, however, the way that I prepared for the NCLEX got me very, very confident and it got me feeling like I will crush it. Granted, I sat for all I said it all, and I'll put the video up in here, but I literally sat for all the questions, but who cares? I got the RN behind my name. No one, not one of your patients is gonna be like, so um, ma'am, um, how many questions did you sit for on the NCLEX? Oh, okay, so what was your grade in anatomy and physiology? Oh, okay, oh, okay, well I don't want you to be my nurse. No, no one says that. Literally, after you graduate, you get that degree, and then you go ahead and you get that license, no one is going to ask you what was your high school score, how many A's and B's, because grades do not make a great nurse. I said it. Let me, let me, let me say it one more time. Grades do not make a great nurse. No. It just doesn't, okay? So don't fret if you feel like you weren't strong in school. As long as you give it your all, you go in there and you get your RN, you Gucci. You can go ahead, move on to the next stressful part. <laughs> of post-grad life, which is finding a job. Job hunting is so, so, oh my God. Job hunting is very, very stressful. Like, you think you're one special person because you graduated? Well, congratulations. All 60 people in the cohort of 20, what are we now? 2019, 2020, 2022 who graduated the same uh, semester as you and the semester before you are fighting for those limited positions as is. So you wanna make sure when you go in for your interview that you stand out from the crowd. Of course you're presentable, okay? But you stand out and also that whatever you bring to the table is more than what others bring to the table. Okay? If you guys want me to go into detail about any of these topics that I'm briefly touching on, let me know. And of course, with job hunting, you have to figure out, okay, do I hold out for my dream job? Yes, I want to work in the ICU. I've, I've seen it. I want it. That's what I want. Or do I take this med surge mm, job that is just there that I don't know? Like, what do I do? And that is a conflict that, you know, a lot of new grads struggle with because it's like, what, what, what should I do? Which one would work to my advantage? So you got to wear those options out. But at least, hopefully, you'll be one of those people with options and who just has a plethora of positions open to you. If no one has already pre-warned you, gave you the business about how nursing works, like real nursing outside of the, you know, the ivory tower of nursing that is the NCLEX, real life nursing, 
especially for a new grad, is overwhelming. So do not be alarmed. You are going to feel overwhelmed. Coming from someone who went from high school straight to nursing school and after graduating went to caring for people, it, it was a lot. And mind you, I've always, every job prior to nursing has been caretaking, caregiving. So I already knew that aspect. But when I tell you something about nursing that just, just, takes over all, it encompasses all that you have to give. So that includes you being a counselor, a teacher educator, as well as a mother sometimes, as well as an electrician, a plumber, everything for that patient. Like it takes a lot and it feels like a lot. And some days you come back and you pass out and you wake up in the morning and you're like, dang, I am tired, you know? It, it, it is like that and you have to learn how to de-stress and how not to be burnt out, okay? I know you guys have watched my burnt out video because um, yeah, at that point I was like, I'm, I'm ready to blow up the whole hospital, I'm so dang on tired. But, you know, after doing what I needed to do to de-stress and to figure out how well to manage this super intense level of stress that I personally at the time had not experienced, I got through it and now sitting here like I want to say you know, however many years after and being able to say that I still love what I do is, is awesome so you have to learn how to not let the overwhelmingness of all the information that you're learning of all the new things around you drag you down and steal the joy that you have for nursing being a new grad out of nursing school is a shock because I know for me, you spent most of your life in school. Turn in papers, do this, do that. You know, you used to schedule, routine, you work like that. And then you get out in the free world and you're like, oh my gosh, options, what do I do? I don't know. And sometimes it feels like people are moving faster than you and people are getting hired and you know, and they're working and you're here still in an application, you know? So you will feel a little bit, even though you've accomplished something great like nursing school, I don't know for me, I just felt like, man, I'm not good enough, like, I haven't accomplished this. Like, you're gonna feel a plethora of, of feelings in general, you know? But like I said, find a way, find a way to love yourself, to take care of yourself, to de-stress, because I'm finding it often as I talk to new grads, as I travel, that, yeah, after like three months of this, they're like, yo, this is not what I thought. I'm ready to chunk the deuce. And so hopefully, you know, in talking to other new nurses, in talking to other people, you'll figure out, okay, before I invest this time, you know, or I've already invested this time and have this degree, which area of nursing is not gonna make me hate nursing? You get what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes some sort of sense. And now, the post-grad life, you done take your, you've taken your test, bam. You aced your job interview, fantastic. Bam, now you got a job, yeah. Big money, big bank, we rolling, okay. Now we enter the reality of having and working as an RN. And honestly, it is like high school all over again. I kid you not, high school all over again, yes. Because if Jane is a bitter old hag, outside of work, she will still be a bitter old hag as a nurse at work. It's not gonna change. People think that, oh, nurses are so kind and they're so loving, but nurses are human beings too. If they have a stink attitude as their baseline, it's always gonna be there. So going into a new environment, you know, yes, be yourself, but you know, you gotta take, take notes of the people around you and how they move and their vibes and stuff. And just make sure that you don't do anything, one, to jeopardize your newly attained, your, your, your license that you just worked so hard for. And then two, just make sure that you're continuously learning. If you do not feel comfortable in a position, if you do not feel comfortable with an assignment, by all means, let somebody know. Okay, if you feel too overwhelmed, you're too anxious, you need to speak up because a lot of times as new grads, you wanna you wanna be bald and you wanna handle it all and sometimes you just can't. So make sure you have someone to vent to, you have family, you have other co-workers that you meet and you'll be friend and um, that way it will make nursing be a lot more manageable and you will, you know, fall back in love or fall in love or, you know, you will begin to love what you do man because honestly being a nurse has been one of the biggest blessings and i i love what i do so even though there are bad days there are there are terrible days but the good days you know make the bad days not so bad 
So hopefully I helped you guys, you know, we spilled the tea on new grad life and what to expect. If you are a new grad right now, go ahead, let me know what's up so I can, you know, motivate you and, you know, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. And for all my nurses who have been in this game like more than a year, how did you feel when you first started new grad? Like I know how girl feelings were all over the place. So let me know and encourage other new grads so that way we can be a community where we do not eat our young. We encourage and empower and we grow our youngs to be smart, intelligent, and strong nurses as well. Okay, that is it for today. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and come back again and kick it with me. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.